handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Churchill Downs here on Wednesday. It's the 1st of May, 2024. Going to look at the stakes action here on Derby Week Wednesday from Churchill. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And also join me throughout the week for some more Churchill previews. And also Friday, Saturday for the big one, the Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby. My preview should be up very soon. I'm hoping my Oaks video should be up uh, tomorrow. Derby video Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. But um, join me for that. And also the Guineas from Newmarket. So some classics on both sides of the pond this weekend. But let's look at the stakes races here on this Wednesday program. Races 8 and 9. Some good ones here. So let's get to it right now. The 8th race from Churchill. It's the Isaac Murphy Marathon overnight. It's going for a purse of $200,000. Race 4-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 8 horses going 2,400 meters or a mile and a half on the Churchill main track. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number two horse, Donical Forever. 2374 for me in the Superfecta. 2374 Super. Top selection, two horse, Donical Forever. Four of Colt by Pioneer the Nile. Tom Pletcher trains this one. I Rider Tees Jr. gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came in the grade three Ghost Sapper at Goldstream. Mile 16, 30th of March. Second off the bench. First time stakes while at horses. This horse finished fifth by six and a quarter lengths and had a very wide poster, which probably cost him that day. He was very wide. He was very flat late. Il Miracolo just really took off clear. But this horse, he just got beat by better horses. And not better horses than the day, but just got a, you know, got beat by a, you know, a horse that freaked that day. Coming to a mile and a half where he could slow it down, could be forwardly paced. I think he has the stamina to win against these horses. Off the long refreshing at Goldstrom on the slot, mile 16th and off to 25 in February. He won by a neck that day. And he had a, you know, he, he got out of the gate clearly, clearly. He stalked all the way around the race course. He was a little bit wide late, but that's where he wanted to be on the sloppy track. And he got the job done. A good, gritty performance for him that day. And then on debut, he ran terrifically at Belmont in last June. Mile 16th in the main special way on the dirt, winning by four and a quarter lengths. He, he didn't get out of the gate so clearly, but after that, he put on a show. He settled back early. He slowly moved his way to the front end. When he got the job done, he flew home clearly late. That was a very good run. Training quite well, Palm Beach. I'm going to give him a shot here at 20 to 1 on the ticket. I think the three horse red run for Mike Maker and Tyler Gaffilion can win also. Um, you know, the most recent victory came on the turf here over the mile in the eighth and optional 80 in, the, in, in September, where he won by one quarter lengths from a stupidly wide post. He closed up well to get the job done. Came back to run the Sycamore on the turf, where he ran an okay fourth. And then in the uh, River City here in the fall, he just, I don't think he liked that turf course. A lot of horses weren't handling turf in the fall. Came back a few weeks ago in the Temperance Hill over the mile and a half at Oakland, where he had a decent fourth place finish that day, but he was a little bit wide that day also. Coming here, you know, he ran this one last year where, where he ran a very good place behind um, Warrant. I'm going to give him a shot here on the ticket. Um, you know, he, he likes these longer trips. Doesn't start on dirt very often, but when he does, he always runs these sneaky good races. And don't throw out the seventh horse next for the way Machado and um, William Cowens won the uh, good Greenwood Cup at Parks over the mile and a half on a very sloppy go by over two dozen lengths. Won the Birdstone by half a dozen. Won the Brooklyn easily and won the, and finished third in this race last year. That was the only subpar race for his form last year. Other than that, he's been pretty perfect over these longer trips to ground. Four to five. I know it's a crap price, but he could win. Let's use him on the ticket. But to recap my selection for the 8th now from Churchill, it's Isaac Murphy Marathon. I'm going to take 2 horse Donegal Forever. Give kudos to the 3-horse Red Run and the 7-horse Next. 2-3-7. Two, 2-3-7-4 uh, two, Super. 2-3-7 two, in the multi-race. Let's get to the featured ninth race now from Churchill, which is the William Walker Stakes. It's going for a purse of $300,000 race for three-year-olds here. We have a field of 15 horses entered, 13, 14, 15 RAE, so a dozen will go to the Matt Wynn Turf Course, the 1,100-meter journey, or five and a half furlongs on that turf course. I'm going to take the 10-horse running rocket as a top selection. 10, 6, 4, 1 for me in the Superfecta. 10, 6, 4, 1 Super. Top selection, 10-horse running rocket. 3 0 by Warfront. Brian Lynch trains. Tyler Gaffley-Owen gets the mount. The horse is most recent out and came at Goldstream. 23rd of February, uh, 23rd of uh, March, five frogs off turf in the Texas Glitter Stakes. And the horse finished second by a half a length that day, and he, he just kind of stalked that day. He didn't change his lead that day, and he just really couldn't, you know, was just a little flax of day school that day. I think with a strong pace, he's going to have to overcome a wide poster, but I think with a st strong pace, he could really get a good trip to close up with too. He's not going to be with him early on, I don't think, in this race. I think they're slightly speedier horses. Two back over the seven and a half at Goldstream, and also 75 he finished fourth by one quarter in lengths that day, and he just kind of stalked early on, then weakened out of it. I don't think he wants to go seven and a half. And then 21st December, Goldstream uh, over the five in optional 75. First time winners. He finished fourth by one quarter lengths that day. Horrible trip. He didn't get out of the gate so clearly. He was wide, and he just, you know, needed the race. 
And then a Goldstein going five and a half in the main special weight in November, winning by three quarters of the line, closing up from nowhere. I thought that was a very good race. Like I said, he'll probably see a good pace to close up into. He's going to have to overcome wide poster, but I think that could be to his advantage to get a good clear run late. Eight to one, I'll use him. I think the six horse here, no name. That's for Irad and George Weaver can win also. Um, you know, <laughs> they sent, uh, he broke his maiden in the Royal Palm Juvenile Golf from quite easily last uh, May. Came back to run at Royal Ascot where he just never showed pace that day. And then won at Mammoth and Colonial quite nice. His breeders' cup effort, you know, he just had a bit of a, a you know, a weird trip on the uh, the inside that day, and then the um in the Palisades, he just kind of weakened out of it when they were flying on that front end. He's refreshing here, second off the bench. He should be a lot um, cranked up a lot better than he was at Keeneland, and even the four horse here with fuel, um, you know, in that Palisades, he had a very wide poster which cost me. He had a better poster, I would have won, but he, he ran his heart out that day, and then his races over the five at Goldstream over the winter weren't bad at all. He's refreshing here also at seven to two. Once a me if he steals it on the front end. Let's use his horse in the late pick four. But to recap my selection now for the ninth from Churchill, it's still William Walker. Going to take the 10 horse running rocket. Give kudos to the six horse Naone Mets and the four horse refuel. 10 6 4 1 super. 10 6 4 in the multi race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit 5. Good luck, everyone.